when you first hear about Linux, uh, you might have this question like from where I can download it uh, and how can I use it? Uh, so before you do these things, uh, I'll just try to explain you simple three things. Uh, so first thing is uh, what is Linux? Uh, second thing is uh, what is GNU slash Linux? Uh, and third thing is uh, what are Linux distributions? So in simple word, uh, Linux uh, is a kernel. Linux is not something which is like operating system. It's just a kernel. So what this particular kernel does is uh, it interacts with your hardware. So what are the hardware in the computer? Maybe monitor, maybe keyboard, maybe this particular mic which is connected to computer or maybe camera which I'm using which is also connected to the computer. So all these things uh, are hardware uh, and there is one program uh, that is called as kernel uh, which controls all these particular things. So now you might say like I opened camera application that particular camera application control the camera. Na? No, actually that's not true. That particular camera application can communicate with the operating system and operating system will be communicating with the kernel and kernel will communicate with this particular camera in order to get the video feed into computer. So in simple word kernel that is Linux kernel controls the hardware. So second thing is what are these uh, GNU slash Linux uh, programs? GNU slash Linux uh, will give you some system uh, which let you to communicate with entire operating system. It's simple as this when you use some kind of Linux shell uh, you have seen right that terminal uh, inside that particular terminal whatever the command you use uh, most of these commands uh, are created by that particular GNU. So when people say GNU slash Linux that means it's one operating system itself it's almost operating system because there are some other tools which are required but when we say Linux we can't download Linux and use it but GNU slash Linux we can pretty much use it in our computer because we can write commands and we can make it control some things whereas Linux distribution which are like uh, maybe Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian uh, and Kali Linux uh, and lots of other Linux which you might have heard uh, those things uh, can be downloaded and can be used uh, and it's just like uh, Windows or Mac OS or some other operating system which you might have heard. So now what is this uh, all the distributions? Uh, so these distributions uh, will make sure uh, that Linux uh, and GNU programs uh, plus upon that there are some other software which is required in order for one normal user to use one operating system they make and they configure all those things and they distribute it and when they distribute it that particular thing is operating system which you can download and which you can use in your laptop so this particular distribution will install something like uh, maybe web browser uh, maybe video player which you want to see or even if you think that much uh, maybe one file explorer uh, or even one desktop environment itself so what is this desktop environment so when you see one laptop uh, you'll see right all the icons and all those things uh, that particular thing itself is desktop environment uh, and in desktop environment uh, maybe if you think linux distribution like ubuntu it will have gnome and there are so many other desktop environments also maybe kde plasma and all the other which i cannot list because so many desktop environments are available so all this desktop environment and all the other tools they will be configured for you and one entity will distribute it maybe Ubuntu or maybe some other Linux distribution like Kali Linux all these people configure all the predefined application and GNU slash Linux programs uh, as well as even the kernel uh, and they mix it uh, and they will give you one distributable uh, format uh, using which uh, you can install the operating system and you can use it uh, just like all the other operating system. So this particular Linux distribution is normal operating system. You can do whatever you want to do in it. Maybe if you want to use it for programming, you can use it. Maybe you want to just watch movie in Netflix in it. Uh, you can do that. Uh, maybe you want to do some calculation in a spreadsheet. Uh, that's also available in there uh, or there are some things which it cannot do for example uh, it cannot run adobe programs because adobe didn't create it for linux distribution but there are so many other alternatives for example there is something like inkscape uh, and there is uh, gimp uh, and there are like a blender and all the other software uh, which you can actually use in your linux distribution uh, and uh, you will be able to get whatever the things which you wanted in your other operating system but the main question is uh, why you have to use linux or why you should consider using it the thing is uh, 
this all this other operating system they are not free and open source linux is free and open source so in free and open source uh, we can see all the source code uh, as well as it's free for using it uh, free for sharing it uh, and free for doing whatever you want to do in that particular thing so you own it uh, and you can do whatever you want to do whereas microsoft uh, makes you sign one particular agreement uh, which says that uh, they are the owner of that particular program uh, and you can just use it uh, with specific condition which they can change at any time so Due to this particular thing, uh, you don't own the operating system. You won't be able to control whatever is happening inside it. Uh. So if you are concerned about the privacy, then forget about it because you won't even have any idea what they are doing it uh, because you cannot see it. And even if they say something and if you don't like it, you cannot change it because it's against their license agreement which you accept it in order to use that particular program. Whereas in Linux, uh, if you don't want to use it, uh, then obviously you can change it if you want to change it uh, or there are big community which will change it for you and they will redistribute it to you because Linux can be shared unlike Windows or Mac OS where you cannot give one copy of your OS to another person. So that's why using Linux uh, it's always better uh, if you are concerned about the privacy and it's just one cool operating system you should try it. Uh, don't have to install it directly you can directly try it in virtual machine or virtual box. Uh, there are so many tutorials which are available you can just just check it out and you can use it also linux is present in server so that's why like lots of uh, websites are there right they use linux so that's why learning linux will make you understand how does this website and all work so that's why learning linux is always better and it's a cool operating system which you can use i would highly encourage you to try it at least so that's it for this video guys if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos like this see you in the next video Bye bye